Dan. Thank you very much for that, Carol. And, and Carol was uh, paying tribute there to, to Janice Long with some really beautiful words. And there have been some lovely uh, tributes over the last few hours or so. Kind, witty and a brilliant storyteller. Just some of the plaudits used to describe her after her death at the age of 66 was confirmed yesterday. Now, in a few minutes, we'll speak to one of her former Radio 1 colleagues, Mike Reed. But first, Lisa Mazimba looks back at the life of a broadcasting pioneer. <laughs> The band who've been together for a year, they come from Leighton Buzzard, is the first appearance on top of the box. It's Cat and Goo Goo. Janice Long making history. The first regular female host on top of the pops. It's you two in a number 23 and New Year's Day. She ended nearly 20 years of men dominating the presenting lineup. I was absolutely thrilled to bits with the fact that I was introducing you two. I mean, that doesn't get, you know, your first top of the box. All is quiet. I really enjoyed all the swap it's been nice for Show you. business ran in the family. Her first TV appearance was alongside her younger brother, Keith Chegwin, on the children's show Multicoloured Swap Shop. Hello and welcome to the show, it's great to be A year later, she joined Radio 1, the first woman to have a daily show on the pop music station. The stadium was filled with 72,000 people. And hey! As well as being a voice recognised by millions on the radio, she was one of the presenters at the Live Aid charity concert. Which state is Edward Kennedy a senator? And over the years, appeared on a huge range of different TV shows. Next week's hit parade with Peter James Barnard Powell and Gary Davis. She'll be remembered as a female trailblazer and as someone with an infectious passion for music. Oh, Lisa Mazimba reporting, and many of Janice's friends and former colleagues have been paying tribute as well uh, on social media. Radio 1 DJ Adele Roberts said, thank you for everything you did to inspire others and open doors for other women and radio presenters to prosper. Uh, the singer-songwriter Midjour said, uh, Janice stood with us on the pitch at Wembley Stadium as we announced Live Aid, a broadcast legend and an absolute music lover. And many tributes coming from Merseyside as well, where she was raised. Ian Brody, the lead singer of The Lightning Seed, said his friend will be greatly missed by everyone who knew her. Well, as we said, uh, Mike Reed uh, worked with Janice at Radio 1 and delighted as he joins us now. I know it's sad news, Mike, but there's so many reflections on somebody who just was a brilliant broadcaster and seemed to be an all-round lovely person as well. Yeah, terrific, uh, terrific legacy, uh, Dan. Uh, I mean, she was a natural. Um, she was passionate about music and uh, and about her friends as well. I mean, she didn't have a great ego. I mean, we've all got egos, but she didn't have a big ego. Uh, she embraced what she did. As they said, she was a bit of a trailblazer. Uh, but she was natural. You know, she didn't have to try hard. Some people come in uh, and they're trying to be this or they're trying to be that, trying to be the other, not themselves. Uh, she was herself. And of course, coming from Liverpool, uh, they're brilliant at pricking the bubble of pomposity. So if anyone got above themselves, you know, she'd be in there. They're like, they are brilliant. But, um, you know, passionate, passionate about music, genuine about music as well as, 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 as quite a few of us were. Uh, and often stood up against the establishment to say, no, this is the music I like. This is the music I believe in. Yeah, and that's something which you, you know, if you listen to her for just like five or ten minutes, you realise how much she loved the stuff she was playing. And also, she was a real champion for, for new talent and fresh music, wasn't she? Absolutely. I mean, it, it, that's, that's key to what it is, what it is about, what it should be about. Uh, and that's what she was good at as well, hearing new stuff, championing new music. And if you just look at the tributes yesterday, uh, with, which I did across social media, uh, and the tributes were fantastic from all the bands saying how much she supported us. Uh, in the early days, that she was a great champion of music, and uh, you know that that's really partly what it's about. And if you can do that and enjoy it, and I think she probably epitomised, uh, you know, Kipling's "If you can meet with triumph or disaster and treat those two imposters uh, just the same," I, I think that was Janice. And, and there's been a, a lot said as well about um, how she had to fight, um, you know, for, for her job on occasion. She was a, um, a, a rarity, I suppose, as, as a woman in that industry at that time. And many um, other female broadcasters have spoken about how she inspired them. What was it like from, I suppose, the outside looking in to see some of the struggles she had at that time? 
Yeah, I don't think we noticed her struggles. You only notice your own personal struggles. I, I think she came in and, and naturally fitted in. I think it's a, a struggle if you don't fit in, uh, where some people don't naturally. Uh, but she did, and she was always great fun as well as as well as being passionate about the music and a, and a lovely person. I um, mean, she was always great fun. I remember we did something. I think it was Bargain Hunt together, uh, and had a terrific laugh and a great giggle. Uh, whereas you wouldn't have maybe had the same laugh with somebody else, but she was she was quite infectious. And I remember at the end they gave us a couple of a, a Bargain Hunt, you know, jackets, and we said, <laughs> "Where the heck are we going to wear these? Now look, waitrose? I don't think so. Said, maybe we can put them on eBay." Um, but yeah, I think the last time I saw was at Rewind. Um, and we had to go catch up. And sadly, of course, you don't know it's the last time you're going to see somebody. That's what's uh, so tragic about it. Yeah, I, I wonder if you could take us back to when you sort of first met her and, and remind us, Michael, what, you know, when you think about her now, when someone asks you about Janice, what will you say to them and how will you remember her? Well, I remember as being passionate, as being genuine uh, and caring, of course. And I worked with, with Keith, her brother, for so many years. Uh, and they were both like that. They were both effervescent. They both embraced it. Uh, they were good team members. They were good to work with uh, as as team members. And, and Janice, as they came in and slotted in naturally, she didn't try to be anything she wasn't. Uh, she didn't pretend to be anything uh, other than you know and how she was. This is me. This is what you get. Mm. Uh, and she she continued to do that because if that's what you love doing, you don't stop doing it. Uh, and she didn't. And she continued whichever station she was on uh, to champion music. And uh, we heard there from um, some of those tributes mentioning her work at Live Aid. I know she was really proud of that. And that, that was a, a huge moment and something which she loved being part of. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, great to be part of something like that. Uh, part of your legacy, part of your history. Uh, and, and it's terrific to read, you know, so many comments about that. You know, as Midge was saying about, you know, remembering her at Live Aid uh, and all the bands who she supported down the years have... Uh, uh, enormous reason to be grateful to her. Yeah, well, Mike, thank you so much for being with us this morning and for sharing um, some of your reflections. And as we've been saying throughout the day, and as Mike was referencing there, there are some beautiful tributes uh, in the papers this morning. And so many of uh, Janice's uh, former colleagues, uh, like Mike, have uh, not only paid tribute on social media as well, but there's some lovely stuff that should have been written and put up on the BBC website as well. You can see the impact that Janice Long had not only on those around her at the time, but on so many other broadcasters who've come through and been inspired by uh, some of the struggles she had at the time as one of the first women in the industry and the first regular uh, female presenter of Top of the Pops as well. That's Janice Long, who sadly passed away over the weekend. Now, in other news on this Monday morning for you, pub, restaurant and nightclub staff should be gearing up for the new year, a rush around about now. Instead, uh, those in England are still waiting to see if any further COVID restrictions are going to be imposed and also if there'll be any financial help from the government. 